Hi children, good morning. We are going to start our third class of the second chapter. I hope uh, you have already noticed the classes are serially numbered. Okay, and all our classes are available in separate playlists, chapter wise, uh, in our uh, playlist section also. And today we are going to calculate the electric potential due to an electric dipole. And I hope you are recollecting dipole. An electric dipole is an equal and opposite. So, plus q and minus q charges separated by a small distance. This is that uh, sender and the whole distance uh, was 2a. Okay. And in its vicinity it produces electric field and we are going to study the electric potential of a random point say somewhere here. So, we are going to calculate the potential at this point. Okay. So, you know the potential due to a point charge because dipole is considered as a collection of two point charges. The potential due to a point charge is the equation V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into Q divided by R. Okay. So, this point is at a distance R from this center. So, we we have this distance, but actually we are in need of this distance and also this distance for the calculation of the potential at this point. So, we need these two distances and for calculating that distance we take this angle, the angle between the electric dipole vector and the position vector to be equal to theta and you just draw a perpendicular like this. Why we are drawing it? Now, this much length is r. So, what we do is this distance is r minus this much. So, we calculate this uh, shaded length and this length will be this much less than r and this distance is this much more than this r. This is what we do. For calculating this shaded length, what we do is we calculate cos theta. So, cos theta is equal to this shaded portion divided by now this factor if this is 2a, two, two this much will be a. Okay. So, this length will be a cos theta. Okay. So, this length will be r minus a cos theta and this will be r plus a cos theta. So, that completes the figure. You need not write this in the exam that is why I have written casually that. Okay. So, now the distances we know. So, this charge produces a positive negative potential there and this charge produces a positive potential there. So, the total potential at that point is V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into Q divided by R minus A cos theta plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into minus q divided by r plus a cos theta. So, this is equal to I take uh, q by 4 pi epsilon 0 outside and what is remaining here is okay r the LCM will be r square minus a square cos square theta. I hope you understood. It is like uh, a minus b into a plus b which is a square minus b square that is written here and uh, here you have r plus a cos theta minus r plus a cos theta. You have to write it carefully there. So, now we go for simplifying that. 
this is equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 into 2a cos theta divided by r square. I am writing only r square because this is an appro approximate value because this a square is very small compared to r. So, we approximated that. So, this is equal to, so this is the equation for potential we are arriving at 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into 2a into q is p. So, p cos theta divided by r square. So, this is the equation for electric potential. I suggest uh, you to by heart this equation and study that well. Now, as usual, whenever you get an equation in physics, we will study this in detail. First, you have to by heart that equation V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into P cos theta divided by R square. Okay. Now, you interested that the potential depends on two factors. No, 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 three factors. It depends on the dipole moment. It depends on the angular position of the point and depends on the distance to the point. Okay. For studying that equation, what we will do is we will rewrite it. So, you have a positive charge, negative charge, this is the dipole's axial line, this is the equatorial line. Okay. So, the equation for potential I am writing here V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into P cos theta divided by R square. We will study that equation. If the point is here with this theta, then this equation is applied. Suppose the point lies here, carefully study this. Eh? If the point lies here, the point comes here means theta will be 0. So, this is the point where theta is 0. So, the equation for potential will be in this equation you have to provide theta as 0. So, cos 0 is 1, you will get the equation as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into p divided by r square. And in case if the point is here, this is the point where theta is 180 degrees and the potential will be, tell me that, potential will be minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into p by r square. So, I hope you can uh, clearly guess that. On this side, potential will be positive and on this side, potential will be negative. And just see this, here you have the maximum potential value. As you go ahead to this side, theta increases. Theta increases means cos theta decreases. So, if I draw a line like this, with the same r and changing theta, potential goes on decreasing. So, at this point when you come, theta will be equal to 90 and v will be equal to 0. So, that is that simple, you can guess. This line, the equatorial line is at the same distance from positive and negative charges. So, they produce equal and opposite potential. So, they cancel. So, you can say this equatorial line is actually a zero potential line. Equatorial line of a dipole is a zero potential line. Now, we check you now is there any other lines like this zero potential line? Is there any other zero potential line? If you can imagine a line like this, that is also a zero potential line. Correct? No? So, any line, oh no, 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 you can say like this, any plane that is perpendicular to the axial line and passing through the center, there is only one plane like that, the plane I am showing with my hand now. Okay? So, that plane is a zero potential plane, you can say it is an equipotential plane with the potential zero volt. 
Now we have a fairly good idea about the electric potential due to an electric dipole. And there is a comparison between the, this is the dipole equation, dipole and I compare it with the point charge, point charge. This is dipole and this is point charge. The equation is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into Q divided by R. Here there is a marked difference, you see this. In this dipole case, you see potential is proportional to 1 by R square. In the point charge case, it is proportional to 1 by R. Means as you go away from a point charge and a dipole, in the case of dipole, the potential decreases quickly, quickly. We say potential falls off quickly. Here it is not that much as it is V proportional to 1 by R only. So this is a comparatively smaller video I planned. So this is a very important topic. So that's why I am taking it as a separate video. So I hope uh, you will take sufficient care study all these things very well it's very simple only write it study then take care see you in the next video goodbye